It's May 5th and we're back out here on the farm where we grazed about 110 head this winter on cereal rye and then we fed hay out here to try to help introduce some organic matter and help build the ground um, in spots that are prone to erosion and I think we've done that. We planted corn out here uh, about a month ago. We're back here today. We are applying 50 gallons of 28.005 um, and a gallon and a half to the acre of humic acid and we've got a stabilizer in there also. The corn looks good for the conditions that we planted it in. It was really dry that day. Uh, the ground was hard. The corn was planted into cereal rye, standing cereal rye, and you can still see a lot of that straw on the ground. The corn is a little spindly, but this side dress application of liquid nitrogen should bring it right out of it and really get the corn going off to where it needs to be. A lot of the water runs through this spot here on the farm. That's why we fed hay here. And the rest of the farm we planted in straight cereal rye. It's not something I planned to do. It was just convenient in this spot and I wanted to give it a shot. So you can see the corn coming up. It is pretty spindly and yellow. That is why we're out here today making this side dress application of liquid nitrogen and sulfur. We're putting the humic acid in there and a stabilizer. We got a pretty good stand out here. I planted 31,000 seeds to the acre. And for the most part, the stand is pretty good. There are a few skips here and there, which was to be expected. But overall, I am pretty satisfied with how this turned out. I was pretty nervous about doing it, but it, so far it has seemed to work pretty well. This rye straw will still be here throughout the summer and really we want it to because it's acting as a mulch layer to help hold moisture and also keep the erosion down over the summer in case we have any big rains. We're going to talk about the equipment we're using also. We are running a 994 Rogator sprayer, 100 foot boom. Uh, we're using these Schaefer stream bars to apply liquid nitrogen just over the top. It's the main reason we're using a humic acid and a stabilizer just to help protect us from the rains and humic acid is a just a good all-around product to use. The spacing on these nozzles is 20 inches. We're running a 20 inch bar. And basically liquid just streams out of these all across the farm. We're running 50 gallons an acre we can cover about 18 acres per load. We really don't damage much crop out here since we're using the sprayer. We pretty in and out pretty quickly without a large footprint. This is what, another one of those spots where I fed a bale of hay because we were getting a little bit of erosion. And for the most part, the corn came up here looks pretty puny but I think the liquid that we're putting out today will help that but every time I come over here there's always mushrooms growing and different variations different kinds back out here on this farm where we grazed cattle this winter and the corn has been fertilized uh, about six days ago. We used 50 gallons of 28.005 out here. We added a gallon and a half to the acre of humic acid and we also ran a nitrogen stabilizer. The reason we ran the stabilizer we were headed into a week that was going to be really rainy. I think we ended up getting about four inches of rain in those six days, six, seven days there. It actually started raining on me about an hour after I got this done, but we're back out here today. I wanted to show or give an update. So the corn is roughly at B4 and it has changed a lot in six days. I spoke a little bit about management um, in these previous videos. This was cereal rye, headed out cereal rye. Typically we don't plant corn into straight cereal rye. And it's very important that we follow up with nitrogen after that. 
sooner than later. So nitrogen is necessary because when we kill the cereal rye, it's going to lay a lot of straw down and organic matter. So the microbes and the biology in the soil is going to work toward breaking that down. They need nitrogen in order to do their job and get that broken down, which ends up taking away a lot of the nitrogen away from the corn plant, who really needs it to get going and get started. So the sooner we can get over here and apply liquid nitrogen, the better. So I came back with 50 gallons of 28005, the humic acid and the stabilizer right before that rain. And I'm pretty satisfied with the way it, the way it looks today. You can tell there's a lot of cereal rye laying down, uh, cereal rye straw laying down in between the rows. It's not quite as much, I guess, as I thought it would be. It always looks thicker than it is, I guess, when you're planting into it. I'm going to give you a few shots here of the corn. This was the first farm we planted this year. I had just put hydraulic downforce on the planter, so we were trying to figure that out and get all the kinks worked out. Overall, I think it did a pretty good job. Um, this ground was probably a little bit more compacted just because we ran so many cattle on it this winter. The ground was frozen, which I do think helped, but there were times where I ran them on this when the ground was not frozen, so it really wasn't very pretty. I also do not want to mislead, so there are some skips out here, like this one I'm showing. There are some late emergers out here, and you know, that is something you just have to deal with or get over or whatever you want to call it when you're planting in the scenarios like this. But for the most part, I'm pretty happy with the stand. It's been through a lot of rain and I really didn't know, I didn't know if we'd get a stand at all. So to have a few skips here and there is something I can overlook. And of course, I've got to show where we fed hay. In these drains it's shaded right now but you can tell the corn is smaller doesn't look as good here and when I was applying liquid nitrogen out here the sprayer tire track just happened to run down through this that's just where it needed to go at the time and I wanted to show how thick this hay mat is and you can see where the water runs and it has developed another ditch again here because I disturbed it with that tire track. I really wish I had not driven down through the middle of this wash area with the sprayer when I was applying nitrogen, but if it had not cut down through there, the mat would have still been untouched even with all of this rain that we've had. We've had about four inches since this has been planted, maybe a little more than that, honestly. We have not sprayed this with anything other than the first burn down chemical pass, which was glyphosate, ammonium sulfate. Seems like there was something else we threw in there. I can't remember offhand, but this has not had any kind of post emergence herbicide and it's pretty clean. There are some broad leaves coming up here. We'll follow up with a post emergence herbicide this week. I want to show you how thick the mat is so this is really not that thick at all and I think it will have some benefit throughout the summer as far as moisture retention but it's really not going to do a whole lot for us. This is mainly just to keep this hill from washing away with any kind of big heavy rain. I'm not saying it won't retain some moisture it definitely will and I'll probably be glad <clears throat> probably be glad to have it in July but for the most part places where we have a diverse mix the mat is a whole lot thicker and does a really good job of retaining moisture just keep in mind this has only been six days after application of 50 gallons of 28005 one and a half gallons to the acre of humic acid and then our nitrogen stabilizer. I think it was a quart and a half per ton.